I play the cut with my homies Dressed in all black and we cozy Can't say you love, you gotta show me I ain't with my guys, then I'm doly hey. Ain't no vibe like this, they don't rock like this And you know we don't miss swish They don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they biz They'll catch my jizz, bitch uh -huh. Ain't no vibe like this, they don't rock like this And you know we don't miss swish don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they biz. Don't catch my jizz, bitch. I'm in a cup with my homies. I'm in a cup with my homies. In a cut, in a Show no love to the police. Show no love to the phone. No love, no love. Nope, not yet. He played it safe with these freaking fenders. What? You play it safe or no? With what? The fenders. What do you mean? Oh, that the retire did that. Cut it up. She's close. Poverty. I can't see shit out of him. You're like fucking. Right. They have no more color in them. Piece of shit. Fords. I swear, look. Fucking balls rusted. Last time this motherfucker ran was hooked up to this piece of shit. Oh, what this trailer was. It was a different trailer. <laughs> them in because it takes up less room not like this thing ain't wider than a freaking dually what let me see that poverty interior yeah that's fucking garbage oh, oh don't even got the big screen yeah what, what? <laughs> <laughs> Gabe sent them down the wrong freaking path. I didn't send them anywhere. <laughs> CJ's like, I want to go home. <laughs> Building a truck is the front freaking drive shaft. I don't know how you guys can know the truck and not put the front drive shaft in it. So, Bill Boy's back there talking shit as always. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a train inside there, too. You guys know when you have YouTube money, you can afford to put front drive shafts on your truck. So, I figured it out. In order to do a YouTube build, you gotta have YouTube money. That buys the plate says. I can pay once a month about four hundred dollars a month, and the four hundred dollars afford my whole life, and Florida trips whenever, and a couple comments, a couple trailers, a couple shops. Um, my girlfriend's Gucci fur coat. Finally added fluid to this new tranny. And uh, hopefully she don't grind. I just did synchro inside this trans. So now is the time to see if it grinds. Got some freaking parts right here. Bolts are right inside here. Put our shift tower spacer on. One, two, three, four. 
four of these. This thing down the side of there. Hopefully it freaking lines up right. First time. Nothing like using a half inch Milwaukee stubby on this, but just like that. Our new drive shaft for the shorty, all balanced, brand freaking new. Besides the slip yoke, I have that laying around. And uh, I'm on the junkyard back here, Fox Shocks, and blue shit that might make it on this truck. So, my friends come to my shop and they think they can use my money. No, no, so yes, I was sitting here, you know, filling the TK's up with the shorty. Doughboy was like, what are you lifting your truck? And obviously, you see the box of parts that's already down there for this truck, right? You guys see that? I got a tap cover, a bunch of gaskets, the lift kit, the fuel system, and he's like, hey, I found you something on the marketplace. I was like, okay, what is it? 22 by 12s. Okay, obviously it ain't no 26 by freaking 14, but for two grand? Well, I, well, I couldn't pass it off with how the market is. I just couldn't. So I bought these 22 by 12s for my daily, obviously with temporary wheels. Bought some deep box wheels. I don't know why I bought them, but they talked me into it. So we went and we picked them up. Now, let's get them put on and see how they look. Frame off it tomorrow. I'm looking to start and have it done in a week. Well, not bad. I don't really like it, though. No. I don't know if I like them. I don't like them. It'll fall. But I got this side of the wheels on. And I'm not too sure if I like them. What do you guys think? I don't know if, uh, if I like these wheels. If you come over here, though, like this angle, it looks... But for winter wheels at least, good old beater wheels around the shop around town, they should do, but you guys will know. We'll be polished. It might evolve into a dually. It might evolve into a big truck. It might not evolve into anything that'll probably sell it. God dang, son. She's a little thick. But I'm not too sure if I freaking like, oh damn, I bumped into the shorty. I'm not too sure if I like him. I'm really not. No free advertisements. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like these wheels though. So, we're still gonna run them though, obviously. At least through the winter, good winter They're wheels. Bad. They're not bad, he says. Good. My truck looks like this, so my girlfriend's truck looks like this. No? All right, well, as you guys see here, some of my apparel just came in. Stickers. Fast apparel stickers, Frank Point Corby stickers, the green Chuji stickers. stickers. Even though I didn't build this truck, but it was still on my channel, still a part of my YouTube in a sense. Um, first things first though, my first shirt. And these are only a couple of what I do have being designed. But my first shirt here is My Girl Shorty. Probably my favorite shirt um, before I have here and my favorite truck I have on the channel right now. So. She loves this shirt. This one belongs, obviously, to the shorty. We have 
the next shirt with the green second gen on it. Again, I didn't build this truck, Logan did, but it's pretty cool, it's on here. Nice to see something that I owned at one point on a shirt. That my baby. This truck was my baby, I love this truck. Thomas killed it on this paint. The gray second gen that Joe now has, which I might buy back. Think about it. But here's another shirt. It's got my fourth gen on it. My gray truck. My gray truck on it. But my fourth gen, my green truck, and my gray truck around it. So with that being said, we uh we got some merchandise. I don't know, where should I stick these stickers at? Second gen stickers. Stick them on things. I'll have some photos posted up on Instagram of my merchandising here soon. Diesel crate time. So this month, we got a diesel crate and it says, screw the EPA. And suit happens. Oh shit. That's funny because I was just shopping. I seen one of these. I almost bought it. That's funny. It's a cell phone wallet. So you stick on the back of your cell phone and you got that. Interior cleaner, which is weird too. I've been cleaning a lot of interiors lately. That's definitely uh, not a quinky dink. Diesel crate, little pocket pocket knife tool thing. Hot shots. Diesel treatment, six in one fuel booster EDT. I would pour all this in my truck right now, but I still gotta make my TikTok with it. Treats up to 100 gallons of fuel. There might be 10 gallons of fuel inside this truck right now. This 2001, I'm pretty sure, let me check. I know the key feature to check to see what years they are. Yeah, it's an old one. And uh, we have um, rags for riches. Giveaway on my website that I don't have yet. You can win a piece of rust. So, got this old 124 valve in. She uh, she needs some attention. Mechanically, perfect. Body wise, not so perfect. So, let's take a walk out here really quick. I'm gonna show you guys something. Don't mind that big sport girl I got down with my girl's group. I can't see that. Shut the door. Alright, we'll come over here. Oh. Huh. I'll grab what you're doing right now. Woo! Woo! So. I know you guys might be wondering about my red truck over here. <laughs> it's getting some love. It just needs a. Uh, Needs the owner to give it love. In here, in the trailer we have. Owner that cares. <laughs> needs somebody that cares. In the trailer we have a minty, rust free freaking unit for it. And uh, Fender. So, my buddy Nicholas, he uh, he's bought a lot of like body parts from me. I sold him these fenders. I don't think I sold him the doors for this truck. Um, I also sold the fenders. Sold a bunch of stuff for it, but let me come back here. We also have, we have a uh I'll do a lot other than that. Come back here we got I think what is this here? The new piece for the grill. Pretty slick actually. I don't know you can buy that new, but Maybe it's a dealer part, I'm not sure. Got that. We got a nice brand new grill for it. Actually, what the? It's got like some different type of emblem on it. What the fuck? That's pretty slick. <laughs> Honeycomb grill. It's got like the same insert oh, yeah. as the sport grill, but it's not a sport grill. It could be like a sport edition of the uh, 
trucks that aren't bumpers like that. Don't mind the flat tire. The owner neglects it. That truck is for sale though. Fuck yeah, it is. If someone does want to buy it, I'll go ahead and get it fixed. I don't know a good price for it. I would say maybe like 18,000 would be good. But before you carry around that, look at this. Here's this fuel system. Air Dog, awesome company. They actually just sponsored my black truck build. Yeah, it's a 165, I think this is, or. Oh. FP100 is what this one is. There's no fuel system for it. And, uh, yeah, the red truck. 18. And I'll have it ready to fit. We'll get some new mirrors put on it. And new mirrors, new, new headlights on it. We'll level it for whoever wants it. Windshield in it. Yeah. This truck, five speed truck, full black leather, power leather. Tons of potential. Tons of potential. All the power works too. And it's got both wood grain pieces on the doors. Unless I dropped the tank and made my own bracket. I just make my own bracket that's bigger than that because that does not clear the frame. And it sucks but it doesn't because it's up there. But up there, back here, don't matter. Looks good either way. So let's finish both of that up, hook up the fuel line and drop the tank or pull the bed. Whatever's easier. This is the worst part. I'm dragging this bullshit outside. But the air truck's got a flat tire. We got a compressor and air hose in the air truck. That freaking stays on. Look at that sucker. I thought it was so sick when I bought this. I've never seen it before, but I guess it's been around for a long time. But I can load this beat box up on the green trailer. The bottom of that, after Gabe and CJ took off with it for three years, it felt like. I can use my trailer now. But let this sucker up. Alright, took a trip to Home Depot on Black Friday. I found the speaker that I bought. And we're gonna see how it actually is. So, let's get it out of the box. Supposedly, it's a pack out speaker. So, I click on it like. Why can't I get this off? I'll click on to pack out. So I made it into a race. Sorry. Okay, so we're done. Hold on. It's not a little bump. It's not on, but it's off the ground, so this is what we do when this happens. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. And this happens. Give her a little, uh, give her a little love. <laughs> a little buff. How about that step Dave and CJ freaking smashed? No, I think they made them like that. Yeah.